Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, you guys. Blessings to each and every one of you on this glorious day that the Lord has made. It has been a marvelous day. It has been an amazing day because I woke up this morning in my right mind. God started me on my way. And, you know, in addition to that, he added, you know, more revelation. And so I'm excited about all that God is doing in my life. I'm just so excited. I'm so humbled for the experience that I'm going through, you know, the shaping, the molding, just to get to where he wants me to be, to do the things that he wants me to do. And it's not about self. It's about taking self out of the way in order to be of service. Amen. And so I am just in a place where I'm just saying, Lord, empty me. Empty me in such a way that you take out all of the stuff that's not supposed to be there so that I can be all yours fully. And I say that in such a humble way because I can feel God doing the work. And if you're like me, and you're asking God to empty you and take out all the stuff so that you can be all his, you're in a good place. You know, you're, 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 you're in the right, you're, you're, you're in the right direction. You're walking, you continue to walk, you know, and you're trying to figure it out as you go along. And God wants to help you with that. And it's something that God gave me this morning. Um, he gave me John uh, chapter 14, verse six, and it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And as he revealed that to me, he also added some additional things that he wanted me to get out of that. And so I want to pass this along to you because I'm sure that there's somebody who is, you know, in the same place, in the same space of thinking. And they're wanting to understand, you know, just how do I get to where God wants me to be? Amen. And so God said, um, I will provide you with the way. You have to be willing to walk in my direction so that I can provide you with protection. Let me say that one more time. You have to be willing to allow God to provide you with the way meaning show you the way because he says in his word i am the way you have to be willing to walk in his direction because he is the truth if you believe you shall receive so with that being said so he can provide you with protection. And in return, and he is the life. So every step that you take, he's giving you the way, he's providing you the direction, and with the direction, he's gonna cover you with protection. And so, just like they always say in scripture, when the enemy comes at you like a flood, God has already covered you, not only with the full arm of God, but he's already pleaded the blood all over you, all around you. So when the enemy tries to enter in, whichever way they come at you, because trust me, they come at all angles. 
<laughs> I've seen some stuff and read some stuff and heard some stuff over this week alone. I was just like, <laughs> Satan, get thee behind me. You know, I'm just like, you know, Jesus, you know, sitting up there, you know, in the wilderness talking to God. And here Satan comes trying to deter me to get me off of, you know, what God has for me, see, but no, 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 I ain't going for that, you know, so if you feeling like me, I ain't going for that, we ain't taking that, you know, we not going to take that laying down, the devil is a liar, get thee behind me, Satan, because I'm doing God's work, and I'm all about God's business, I'm not about the foolishness, the trickery, you know, and the works of the enemy, to try to enter in, to take me off of, you know, the promises of God, you know, and, and I'm walking in, you know, the favor of God and doing God's work and just serving him fully. And that's my total focus is to be about God's business. You know, I'm not in the business of playing games. I'm not in the business of, you know, playing with people's mentalities. I'm not in the business of playing with people's emotions. I'm not in the business of entertaining foolishness. I'm not in the business of any of that. So don't be fooled. Hashtag stay woke. Hashtag my elevator goes all the way up. Hashtag, I'm a woman of God. Hashtag, I'm anointed. Hashtag, blessed and highly favored. Amen. So don't, don't try that. Don't try that. Don't even go there. So, hey, John 14, 6. For a lot of you, you need to read it. Because he's the way, the truth, and the light. Okay, you got to go through him to get to where you're going. A lot of people want to look at, you know, the outside. You can look at, you know, the woman and the man on the outside. But if you don't know anything about the inside, <laughs> you lost just right there. You know, because, you know, beauty goes beyond what you see here. Beauty is internal. And see, if you don't know about the internal beauty of a person, <laughs> then you know nothing. You just see this. And so the external fades and the internal lasts forever. See, I, I want to be dealing with the internal. So I know that if my inside is right, then my outside is going to be on point all the time. It don't matter if my hair ain't right, you know, and of course I don't wear makeup, but if I did, you know, I wouldn't worry about all of those other things because my inside is where God wants it to be. You know, it's a continual work in progress every single day. That's why we have to be renewed in our mind and we got to keep our spirits in check, you know. And we have to do things decent and in order. <laughs> There's a lot of people walking around <laughs> and you're out of order. I'm going to just let you know that right now. Get yourself in order. God is, is up to something and he ain't playing games. <laughs> Get yourself in order. Check yourself. Nobody needs to tell you, you, you know what time it is. You know what's up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so with that being said, I'm going to share something with you guys tonight that this song, um, I've been playing it for a couple of weeks now. Um, it's James Fortune, Empty Me. And this is just my declaration. And I'm sure that somebody is declaring the same thing. You know, Lord, empty me so that I can be totally focused on you because that's the only way that you're going to get what you need to get to go where you're going is that God empties you self so that you can find yourself. Get that empty self one word so that you can find yourself 
two words. Amen. See, you have to die to self in order to find yourself. A lot of people don't want to die to self. And when you die to self, that takes sacrifice. That takes commitment. That takes, you know, having a personal relationship with God to understand the essence of, you know, we having to get out of the way, take away all of the layers and all of the lies that people have told us over the years about ourselves, the things that we have internalized that has kept us from being in the fullness of who we are. You know, you're still dealing with past hurt, you know, from 20, 30 years ago. God wants to empty all of that stuff out of you so that you can be all his, so he can do a work in you, so he can use you to glorify the kingdom. Amen, amen, amen. Here we go, y'all. Hallelujah. Praise God, somebody. Lord, empty me. Just empty me. I want to be more like you. I want to live just for you. I'm ready to lay it all down. I'm ready for a change. Are you ready for a change today? Lord, empty me. Everything is not pleasing to you. Please take it away. So I can be all yours. Be all yours. Empty me. Thank 
not like me so I can be pleasing to you so I can be all yours amen 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 I'm blessing you guys tonight I'm hoping that somebody is saying the same thing somebody is on the same accord asking God to do those things hey go read it for yourself John chapter 14 verse 6 and he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You all have a blessed and wonderful night. It's always a pleasure. It's always an honor to serve you, to come to you, and be humbling in this experience, be humbling in this walk. Because I know that God is continuing to do amazing things, not just for me, but he's going to continue to do amazing things for you. And if you're on fire for God and you're looking for God to open up some doors, walk with him. Allow him to direct you and allow him to protect you the whole step of the way. He's already promised you that. Just let him do it. And in doing that, say, Lord, I surrender and I give it all to you. And watch what happened. Let the rivers flow. Amen. 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 Have a blessed and glorious evening, you guys. Until next time, I love you and I love you and I love you even more. Be blessed. <laughs>